Well, everybody. Lincoln Performance Hall at Portland State University. My name is Larry Comins, and I'm the director and teacher uh, of today's Student Kyogen production. The fact that we're even in this hall tonight means that we, we are in a glimmer of light at the end of the long, dark tunnel. And what a long, dark tunnel it's been, this COVID tunnel. Uh, almost 600,000 Americans and many more around the world have died because of, of the COVID pandemic. Uh, and right now, thinking of them and their loved ones, I'd like to just take a, a brief moment of silence uh, to honor them. Uh, we, however, are still here on this, on, on this planet, and we are in a time of healing uh, here in the United States. Uh, and everyone knows the proverb, the best medicine is laughter. And that's the kind of healing uh, and, and joy we want to help uh, you uh, take part in today. Uh, Kyogen is Japan's longest lasting comedy. It's been performed for over 700 years in Japan. Uh, and it's small informal plays, beautifully costumed as you're going to see. Uh, and last year uh, in spring and in summer when Japan's grand traditional theaters like Kabuki and Bunraku had to go entirely dark, the Kyogen actors got together because they're in family groups and they put on Kyogen plays in their home practice stages around Japan, and they broadcast these live stream just like we're doing today. Uh, and so Kyogen continued on for people to see even at the height of the lockdowns in Japan. Well, this is a segue to, I've got to talk about the format of today's production. Uh, to, we here at PSU, um, follow the directives of the incident management team, which is working with the PSU administration and was set up at the beginning of the pandemic. And I want to give a shout out to that team and to our administration because uh, in these past 15 months, we've only had 65 cases, positive cases, uh, among students, faculty, and staff here at PSU. They've done an excellent job with their cautious protocols protecting us all. And those are the protocols we have been following and continue to follow. Now you'll see that I took off my mask. Uh, we are changing at PSU uh, and we petitioned because all of our students have been entirely and fully vaccinated to perform Kyogen as it should be performed without uh, pandemic masks on and we were given that permission by the, the uh, incident management team. That permission extends only to on stage while performing and we're entirely masked at all other times. Uh, we are also restricted in terms of capacity here at Portland State University. It doesn't matter what facility you're in. It can be a classroom or a hall like this that seats 450 people. The capacity is 25 still. Uh, that means that that's backstage, on stage, uh, and in the auditorium. That means, I'm very sad to say, no one could be invited live to our performance today. It's entirely you out of viewing it on live stream. Now you will hear clapping and laughter. Where's that coming from? The students who are among those 25 allowed into this facility are sitting in the audience whenever they're not in the play on stage. And I've told them to enjoy their fellow students' performances uh, as they would normally with laughter and clapping. Uh, their laughter will be a bit subdued because they do have their masks on in the audience. Um, but uh, for the performers to have, to be uh, performing in comedy, uh, live comedy, you need to have a reaction from the audience. So 
our students in the audience are every bit as important as our students when they go up on stage and perform. Now what this means is there's a little bit of a delay as students um, go up to perform from sitting in the, uh, the, in the audience seats. They're not waiting in the wings immediately as we typically would do. During that one to two minutes, I will give you a little bit of introductory material about Kyogen uh, and about those specific plays. Now about Kyogen itself, uh, these are the characters for Kyogen. Crazy words. What's crazy words? Well, you're gonna hear a lot of them, but the word Kyogen doesn't mean any crazy words. It means the crazy words of plays that were performed between much more serious uh, lyrical sometimes, sometimes very spiritual, sometimes very tragic, longer no plays. Uh, these crazy words performances were for comic relief initially. Nowadays, uh, there are many performances in Japan where they only perform Kyogen plays and not no plays. And that's exactly what we're giving you today. Um, so, um, I now have to thank a few organizations that made this possible. First, my own department, the World Language and Literature Department, uh, they allowed us to have a hybrid course starting uh, the first week in April. Um, what's a hybrid course? It meant that the students in my uh, the introduction to traditional drama um, could come once a week uh, and rehearse starting on April 4th. The other two academic classes every week were conducted uh, remotely by Zoom. That's their hybrid course. And their final project, now that we're in week nine, uh, for almost all of them is this play. So they rehearsed it once a week live, masked and distanced, whether we were at high risk or low risk as a county, um, we were able to maintain those protocols and there wasn't a single case of COVID among them. So when you watch them unmasked today, don't worry about their health and just enjoy the plays as they're presented to you. Um, our incident management team is quite confident they're going to be healthy. Uh, another organization to thank is the Center for Japanese Studies, which is presenting this play. Uh, this is the last event in a full year of uh, remote events that have been really well attended, uh, introducing Japanese society, culture, uh, history, even the political situation uh, in Zoom events, uh, and this is our last event of the summer. Uh, the people that made this event possible financially are individual donors, to the Center for Japanese Studies, and I thank you all. I know you're out there watching. Thank you so much. And also partially funded by the Toshiba International Foundation. Time to get into our program. These beautiful signs were calligraphed by Sora Shondo, um, a major cultural figure here in Portland, our, our master calligrapher. Yogi Koi, Voices at the Gate is our first uh, play. And Yogi Koi is one of my favorite plays. I'm not going to say too much about this one because I've been talking for a long time, but it's full of the playfulness and the hyperbole that are true of so many Kyogen plays. So now, please, uh, wherever you're watching this from, whether you're in America, Japan, anywhere, uh, sit back and enjoy some Kyogen plays, beginning with Voices at the Gate. Someone told me 
that he returned to his own home last night. But he is still yet to report here for work. I will now call my second servant, Jiro Kaja, and ask him if this news of Taro's return is true. Hey, Jiro Kaja, Jiro Kaja, are you there? Are you there? I am before you. I'm glad you came so quickly. I didn't call you about anything special. Is the news of Taro's return home true? I heard that rumor too, but I haven't seen him yet, so I can't say for sure. Well, if that is so, let's go to his house. If that scoundrel is home, I'm going to give him a real piece of my mind. Jiro, you come with me. Yes, sir. Come along, come along. I'm following, I'm following. <laughs> you know what I think about that scoundrel, Taro. <laughs> if only he had given me the courtesy to ask my permission, I would have given him a five or ten day vacation. But just to go off like that without asking my leave, why? Thank <laughs> you. 
I want to get him to come out of that house. <laughs> I wonder what we should do. Yes, I wonder what we should do. <laughs> I know. This time, I'll try to get him to come out by speaking in samurai ballad recitation style. That's a fine idea. Give it a try. Yes, sir. Shaki, 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 ya. Ha, ha. 
Mr. Taro Kaja home? Is Mr. Taro Kaja home? If you are in fact at home, we would like to speak with you. Taro Kaja's not at home. He's certainly away from home. Have a message for him. I'd be happy to send it We would like to speak with you. Taro Kaja's not at home. We would like to speak with you. Taro Kaja's not at home. We would like to speak with you.
stage assistant for this, so I'm going to get in the stage assistant's position, uh, at least the part of the play, and then we will begin.
たら。Oh. 
銃を通すぞいやそうだいやそうだまあこの服こぶれのようだぬ<笑>これはまずい何といたそういやこれ登っていくえと言わぬばかりの女王女王の登りところがあるさらばあれへ登ってくおいいえとなほうほう下から見るとは違うて大きな柿じゃまず一つくおこれはこの辺りに住まいいたす工作人でござるそれがし柿畑を余ったもんでござるがこの頃は柿が色づいてござるによって毎日見舞いまするまた今日も見舞うのぞうずる。
当作是假。
deadly that even a whiff of it is fatal, how is it that you are able to handle it? That is a good question. I know. <laughs> this is the master's question. And as long as I touch it, it will do no harm. But if anyone else comes near, it will kill them instantly. Do you understand? Okay, we understand. Well, I'm going now. Are you going already? I'm counting on you too to look after that. Don't worry about us. We'll take good care of everything. I'm depending on you. I'm depending on you. I'm depending on you. I'm depending on you. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> First of all, let's sit down. Right. A. A. Yatona. Just lazing around at home is a lot easier than working, isn't it? It sure is. Quick! Run away! Run away! What happened? What happened? Run away! Run away! What happened? Just now, there was a breeze blowing from the direction of the busu. <laughs> oh no, that's terrible! Let's sit a little farther away. Right. <laughs> a, A, Ya, Tona. <laughs> Don't you think it's strange that a poison so deadly that even a whiff of it is fatal? Is harmless when the master handles it? Yeah, there's something strange about all this. Quick, run away, run away! What happened? What happened? Run away, run away! What happened? What happened? Just now, there was another breeze blowing from the direction of the blue zoo. <laughs> this is bad. You know what? Why don't we take a look and see what's inside that blue zoo? What? How do you expect to get a look at it when even a whiff of it is fatal? We'll fan the wind the other way and take a peek. That's a fine idea. Hey, help me with your fanning. Right. Fan hard! Fan hard! I'm fanning! I'm fanning! Fan hard! Fan hard! I'm fanning! I'm fanning! Okay. I'm about to take the lid off. Keep fanning. Right.
lying. What's that? It's delicious. Here, take a look. It's sugar. It is sugar. So let's dig in. Right. Yeah, hey, gotta be. 
It's smashed! It's in smithereens! <laughs> <laughs> well, now what do we do? My, you are dumb. When the master comes home, burst into tears. Will that solve our problem? It will, it will. Oh, look, he's back already. Let's sit down, right? My business is over, and I'm very home. I suppose Taro and Jiro are eagerly awaiting my return. What? I'm home already. He's back. Let's cry. Hey, Taro, Jiro, I'm home. Something is wrong. You should be happy to see your master return. If something has happened, please let me know immediately. Juro, you tell him. No, Taro, you tell him. <laughs> I don't care who tells me, but somebody tell me what is going on. In that case, I guess I'll tell you. We knew we had important work to do, guarding the house, and we knew we shouldn't fall asleep. So, I sumo wrestled Jiro to keep awake, but he was stronger than me and threw me. So I grabbed onto that hanging scroll, and there, that's what's become of it. You are wrestling to stay awake, and you tore my precious scroll? And then we had a rematch, and tore me onto that big china face, and then my delicious Chinese face is increasing. Hey, you two, worthless, wretches, you do not deserve to live. We knew we deserved to die. hope that you enjoyed uh, Busu back in 2019. Uh, it's, as I said, the most frequently performed uh, Kilgen play in the entire repertory. Uh, and it's also one of the first plays, uh, one of the first works of literature in old Japanese that students read uh, in their textbooks. Um, now, this says intermission. We're leaving intermission behind and moving to our next play. Enme Bukuro, which I've translated as alimony back. Uh, for the past three years when we've done Kyogen, we always do a play that's very close to home, uh, different from mountain wizards and, and crab spirits, close to home, in the family, husbands and wives. 
Uh, remember that in the medieval period, uh, wives had, and women in general, had no rights, no legal rights. Uh, and so it was a total male-dominated society. Uh, a woman uh, had no legal right to divorce, but a man could divorce his wife with a simple decree or a letter with no adjudication or, or, or any court case or anything. A simple decree. Uh, what did a wife have at her disposal? Well, in Kyogen plays, she has imagination, cleverness, and determination. Uh, and so let's go into a household with a husband and wife. And in Kyogen, husbands and wives never get along very well. Next the alimony
It is true what I just said. His wife is different from other men's wife. She is the loudest and most domineering woman I know. As soon as she sees the content of this letter, she is sure to get very, very angry. Well, here I am already at her parents' home. I better announce my, 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 my arrival. Hello? Is anybody home? Someone's at the front gate. Who is it? It's me. What? Taro, is it you? You don't have to be so formal and announce yourself at the gate. Why don't you just come on inside? Of course, normally I would just come on inside. But I thought it might be entertaining guests. So that's why I announced myself. Taro, that's just like you. Always the thoughtful servant. So, how is my husband doing while I've been away? Is he doing well? He's just as healthy as always. I'm happy to hear that. I've been thinking I should go home as soon as possible, but I still have a little more that I have to finish up here, and that's why I haven't been able to leave. But don't worry, I'll be able to come home in a very short while. By all means, please don't feel like you have to rush and work here. Take your time, finish it completely, and then you can come home with your heart at ease. So, what is it that brings you here today? I bought a letter for you from my master. What's that? He sent you here with a letter for me? That's right. My, my, how thoughtful of him to send me a letter. Show it to me right away. Yes, here it is. Give it to me. Well, I'll just be on my way. No, don't go yet. You have to take my answer back with you. <laughs> no, there's no need to answer that letter. No, you're wrong. I am your master too, and you have to do as I tell you. Now wait there until I allow you to leave. If that's how you feel about it, of course I am at your service. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> damn, damn, damn you, Toro Kaja! This is a matter of divorce, isn't it? How dare you bring such a thing to me? I don't know whether I should tear you to shreds or bite you in two, but it's gonna be one or the other! No way! I didn't know anything but the contents of the letter. My master just told me to deliver it, and so I did. Don't try to fool me with those lies! If you don't tell me the truth, you will finish this day in one piece! Hey, I'll tell you the truth! I'll tell you the truth! Out with it! Right now! In fact, I was shocked by the contents of the letter. And I tried every sort of argument to persuade Master to give up his plan. The Master said he'll kill me if I didn't take it. And since I have only one life, I have no choice but to do what he ordered. I am not the one to blame in this matter. I see. He said he'd kill you if you didn't deliver the letter. That's right. In that case, you are not to blame. Now listen to me, Taro Kaja. Yes, ma'am. Now look at the situation carefully, Taro. My husband's a pretty worthless guy. <laughs> if you go to a grove of trees and kick the trunks, six or seven men of his ilk will fall out of the branches. <laughs> but when I think that someone like him has the gall to divorce me, it makes me so <laughs> angry! I feel like I'm on fire! <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I want you to go home and tell my husband how I feel. Thank him for me for sending the letter, and tell him I'll be home very soon with my reply. I don't think you need to take the trouble to reply. The reply is my business, not yours. <laughs> now you go home and tell my husband what I just told you to tell him. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I'm so Oh my god, that was terrifying. I better go quick. Hello, hello, Master, are you there? It's me, Taro, I'm back. What's this? It seems that Taro is back. Taro, Taro, is 
that you? Yes, I just got back. Well, did you give her the letter? I've got to tell you what happened. I gave her the letter and tried to leave before she looked at it. But she told me I had to wait for her orders and made me stay right there beside her. Then she looked at the letter and got very, very angry. She told me to tell you that she'll be coming here right away with her answer to your letter. This is terrible! There's no telling all what will happen if she comes back here. <laughs> Precisely because something like this could happen. I told you from the beginning to leave the letter and come home before she's opened it. Oh no, Master! She's already back! There she is! Over there! <laughs> going to be terrible! Stop! Angry! <laughs>
Well, it looks like that divorce isn't going to happen for a while. <laughs> uh, usually the wife winds up getting what she wants despite her uh, lack of legal rights back in the medieval period. At least in the Kyogen, that's what happens. Our last play um, is called Bake Neko. And in English, we call it Bake Neko, or the feline fiancé. We're back to yokai again, uh, those shape changers uh, from nature. This is a cat. Uh, a cat, uh, there were two kinds of cats, neko mata and bake neko, that would shape change and trick human beings. They date back to the medieval period. Uh, neko mata is mentioned in essays in Idleness, Tsudezuke Gusa, um, but they don't really appear in Kyogen. And then in Kabuki and the Edo period, all of a sudden, Bake Neko and Neko Mata are much more prevalent. Well, this is an original play by a PSU student. Uh, it premiered back in 2014 when the student was a senior. Uh, and he's particularly interested in uh, Japanese uh, uh, culture and monsters and so forth, and he wanted to put them into his play. Um, so we have uh, a shape-changing cat in this play. Um, so this play is by Michael Okada, who's now in Japan. We hope he's watching the show and seeing uh, his play come back on stage uh, after about seven years. So, Bake Neko, or the feline fiancé. This play has a lot of properties. It needs some stage assistance, so uh, bear with me as I put properties in place. And now, Bake Neko, or the feline fiancé. I am a rich man that lives in this neighborhood. After all these years of so many rejections by prospective brides, I'm finally going to marry the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Kiki, where are you? I'm here, darling. Ah, there you are. Tomorrow is finally the day you've been waiting for after months of planning. Our wedding day. Yes, I'm so lucky I get to marry such a handsome man like you. And I'm so lucky to marry such a beautiful woman as you. Oh, it's because I love you so much. Oh, gosh. You're such a kind, considerate <laughs> person. More than any human being I've ever met. I'm so glad I spend the rest of my life with you. It's be- uh... Together, we will be forever together. All right, sweetie. I've made sure both my servants, Jito and Po, have everything in order for tomorrow. Now, where are they? I'm going to call them. Oh, Jito, where are you? Yes? Are you there? Here we are. We are at your service. Soon, Good. You can on the first night of our you wedding, I will be gone with all of his wealth. 
You'll be the thousands, man. I have done this too. It's the perfect plan. Yes. <laughs> I've called the servants, Kiki. Here they are. What's so funny? Oh, um, I just remembered a funny scene from the alimony bag. <laughs> okay, then. I have some errands to run. As always, if you need anything, my servants are here to help you. You're such a kind and generous man. I must go now. I will be back in an hour or so. Serve my fiancé as loyally as you serve me. Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm going now. Are you going already? I'm going now. Do everything that Kiki asks while I'm away. Well, he's gone. Yep, yeah, he's gone. Cheeto, Tato, I'm rather thirsty. Would you please get me a glass of water? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Come on, Jiro. Oh, okay, Taro. Oh, Taro, isn't it so amazing? Finally, Master found someone to marry him. Finally, someone who would marry a skinny nerd wearing glasses. <laughs> I know. But I get this strange feeling there's something abnormal about his soon-be wife, Miss Kiki. Abnormal? Miss Kiki is filled with nothing but kindness. <laughs> I mean, she acts like a cat. Like, surprisingly similar to a cat. <laughs> what do you mean? She washes her face with her hand like cat-like. What? Here, I'll show you. First, I'm going to take my blowgun and put a berry in it and shoot it at her face. Woo! Ah! <laughs> now, how did this get there? <laughs> See, I told you so. Hmm. Well, maybe that's just something rich people do. That's <laughs> a real practice. Okay, but here's another thing. Miss Kiki has a huge obsession with fish. Well, I know she likes seafood, but is it that obsessive? She'll eat any kind of fish, even when it's raw. Like sushi or sashimi. I like it too, that's normal. I mean raw fish, like fresh from the lake, fresh fish. Here, I'll prove it to you. I got this fresh fella from the kitchen. Gio, Tato, where is my water? Oh, I completely forgot. Uh, Jiro, go get her some water. Oh, okay, Tato. Here you go, Miss Kiki. Sorry for the wait. Took you long enough. <laughs> I was just inspecting it for dust. That's why I was looking so closely. Thank you. What are you going to do now? I'm going to walk slowly behind her and see how she reacts. What is that? Delicious smell! <laughs> well, hello there, my pretty. I have a place for you in my stomach. <laughs>
No, I mean, I think you're onto something. Oh, <laughs> of course I am. Well, what else do you find strange about Miss Kiki? Well, oh, she hates the house of horror. What do you mean? I mean, she hates her. Like every time Haru's around her, Kiki snarls and scratches at her. And Haru gets so scared, and all Haru wants is loving. That's <laughs> impossible. I mean, why How not hear her? Why anyone hate dogs? I know what I saw. Here, I'll prove it to you. Haru! Hey, Miss Kiki wants to play with you. <laughs> And if she yells or scratches at you, that just means she loves you. Little <laughs> no, girl. Kimono dressers, 
Um, my wife Toshimi and her assistant Yoshiko. Uh, Toshimi has been our costume <laughs> designer for the last 30 years at PSU. So thank you all today. This is Japanese 422, Japanese 408, the students in traditional Japanese drama, their final project, fine Kyogen plays. I think you agree. Take another bow, everyone. But it's great. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope to see lots of you live in the audience next spring. We do a production every spring of either Kyogen or Kabuki. So um, everyone stay healthy as we come into the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you very much. <laughs>